Damagepi number four. Were there three others? I didn't see anything else in the queue. Presumably, this guy made a bunch of other maps, though. And I think this might even be part of the uh, Testing Outside series that I saw. In any case, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to PA's Perpetual Testing, episode 10. Uh, music and hints, we will leave that on, because why not? All right, now, apparently, these are supposed to be... Well, what in the world was that? So that button hits it off of the laser? Oh, I'm supposed to tilt it. I get it. Aha, I see. Okay, so that was a fairly nice introduction. Oh, man, I messed it up. Anyway, let's try this again. Place it a bit further towards me this time. The description of this map said it was used for cube testing that might not be us the usual stuff, as it were. So, I have a feeling that I'm going to be messing with some uh, tests that are not entirely within my field of expertise. Still, looks like this has much the same concept as the first one there. Just tilting that cube to get the laser the right way. And uh, there are also these hint buttons here, where, upon pressing them, you get a slight hint in the middle of your screen. Apparently, there's also a secret on this map as well, so I will be looking to find that but, as you can see, we are completely without a portal gun, so that's definitely a bit interesting for us. Alright, grab myself a cube. And what do I need to do with it? Alright. <laughs> oh boy. That's, uh, that's quite a thing. Wish I had a portal gun. Portal gun would help quite a bit, truth be told. Let's see here. That to there and there. Oh, I'm supposed to tilt the cubes before the cube before I hand it off. I see. No, I don't. How is that not? You know what? Fine. Let's see what that very first one does. All right. So that opened up a thing with. Yes. Oh, just as I said, I would want a portal device. There it is. Beautiful. And that's how I'm supposed to get it off of there after it tilts. But naturally, I shouldn't do that first thing. I should wait until I have the cube in the proper position and then send it off. So let's go ahead and tilt this. Oh, come on. There we go. And I think that what the creator knows that I do not is that cubes retain their original alignment in situations like this. Which is really quite cool. Anyway, I've got to fly outwards now, so how to get up there? I'm thinking there? Yeah, that should do it. Good. Let's take the express exit. Good. How many test chambers was that? Three? Oh, wow. Uh, do I have to look for secrets in here, or... I don't know. I don't want to miss the secret, because that sounds like it'll be pretty cool. If I do miss it on my very first playthrough, I'll probably just cut the video to when I've successfully figured out what the heck it was or is. So I'm supposed to grab the cube through here, then place another portal over there and toss the cube through. Alright, was that a... Was that a test? Is that it? Alright. Fair enough. And I'm liking these hallways. They're, they're quite unique. Which is really saying something in the perpetual testing industry where a lot of stuff is kind of... I don't want to say... It's not a rip-off of other things of that sort, but it's definitely not um, the most original. Which is unfortunate, because these tests are really cool 90% of the time. Anyway, I, looks like I'm supposed to hit that one there. And then just use this to destroy some of the turrets. So, so much for the advanced practices, I suppose. But hey, it works out. And then... Ah, there we go. Just walk through the Emancipation Grid. And there's still a laser here for some reason. You know what? That's okay. Alright, so we've got a cube that we cannot reach in the slightest. Then we have a small X. Ah, I think I see. This is telling me that I'm going to need the cube pointed this way. But why do I need it pointed this way? It's going to have to hit a... 
By the way, these little arrows, wonderful touches. They kind of give away the secret to the puzzle, but you still got to work it out for yourself. And oh, they have the number there. So this is test chamber six. Now, where to stick the laser? Oh, I have to put it down there. All right. I can deal with that. And then I have to put one of the cubes below the ground, I think. If I can. Oh, hello, little me. Little... Nearly invisible me. I... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm able to do this. Am I not? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Steady on there. Little cubelet. Maybe I'm supposed to tilt it like I did in the earlier puzzles? You know what? Let's try it. I think that might work. Oh, no, wait. I'm probably supposed to actually divert the laser with it, aren't I? That would make sense. And a blue and an orange and that all works out. But how do I get down to the proper level? Whoa! Oh! Because it's tilted. But... It doesn't stay on if... Alright, so, let's remove this cube for now. Place this one here, I think will work. Is that directly across from the laser? No, right here is. So the third platform, there we go. And then just place this cube here. And, of course, that broke. Naturally. Oh. Sure, it works perfectly when I... Just mess with it a bit. Okay, so it seems like it needs a bit of work... To get it going. Also, that I need to be on this button to be able to get it working. How in the world? That cube is supposed to just fire over here, but it's not. It's firing... Wrong. It's misfiring. Ow. Either that or something about my portal placement is off. No, it's really not hitting it. Can I move it very slightly forward so it's still on the button? But receiving the laser? I mean, I think it is there, but then it's not on the button. Oh god. Okay, so I can't step off of this. Oh wait, could I... No, that didn't work. And now the laser's gone again. Okay. Let's, um... God, I hate to do this so early. But let's take a look at the hint. Use hot... You can hot swap the cube with yourself to not disturb the stairs. I can just fire a portal through that door, can't I? No. No, I can't. What's it talking about? Hot swap the cube with myself. Oh, there's even a little X over there. I'm an idiot. God, am I an idiot. Alright, Emancipation Field. Next test, presumably. Smiley face. What in the world? Is that... Oh, this is. This is test chamber 7. Alright. Ha! <laughs> I've done this trick with myself, much less the portals. Uh, let's... Noob. Okay, so no hint for you there. That's, uh, that's pretty harsh, man. I don't know if that's entirely called for. Anyway, let's just head through here? Wow. Yeah, no, definitely getting a lot of work out of these little half-cube blocks, aren't you, buddy? Anyway. Test chamber 8. Auto-saving? There's auto-save in this level. Alright, there's auto-save. I can deal with that. Now, there is a single... There's an X there. Okay, well, first things first, what does this do? Creates a portable surface, which is good. And then where did I already put my blue portal? <laughs> Up there, so that won't do much for me. But if I put it... Here... And here... 
Nope. Never mind. Why is it near the top of the... Because it is near the top of the portal. Alright, never mind. Makes sense. Alright, so that doesn't work. Um... Hmm. I mean, there's a little X right there, so I assume that's important. Maybe I can just manually aim it over here? Okay, there we go. I got myself a cube. That's all I needed to do. Oh, I've done that before, too, so... Oh, and then I need to stack them, don't I? Okay, just, uh, careful, careful. Ha, ah, there we go. Oh, perfect. It all worked out. Good. Test chamber nine. Now this is, I believe, where the secret was? Oh. I heard something moving. I'm assuming that that is the secret. But I might be wrong? Because we've got a cube, and then we've got a series of platforms. We've got what might be the exit. We've got... Okay, so if we step on this, that deactivates, allowing me to toss a portal. So now I have a hard light bridge. It's alright. If I put one here, I can just immediately walk through the exit. Or what might be the exit. Okay, might as well uh, toss this thing out. Oh, come on. Out through the door. There we go. And then I will head out this way. Um. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I am able to get out. But I'm supposed to get in here. No, I'm not. Oh. Wait, yes, I totally am. Okay. Then for the light bridge. Blue. And orange is already over there, so I can just take this then. And then blue again. Nope, wrong one. Damn it. <laughs> Thank goodness for autosave though, right? Alright. Back into the chamber. Now, just repeat the steps we already did. Oh, come on. Button, light bridge. Portal walk. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming this isn't the secret exit, as it were. Because that would just be a bit, um... Weird and a bit too easy, in my opinion. Because, I mean, this is fairly well telegraphed, this uh, supposedly secret exit. So I'm assuming it's a bit more complex than this. Like, is there anything behind this platform? Not that I can see. Oh well, let's keep exploring, shall we? Blue there, orange... Through the door after I get through there, which would probably be an important part of this. How did I... Right. Back up. No. Oh, I'm supposed to put the cube through, go back through. There we go, that's alright. And just walk through here. One to get light bridge. One to place light bridge. Behind me first. And I'm using orange portals, so I gotta remember that. Hop. There we go. And there it is. Test chamber 9 compl... No, it's not. Oh, right. Blue, orange. And I'm supposed to get out this way somehow. Oh, well, that cube is on the button. I am not allowed to escape. So... Let's remove it then, shall we? Which I think should free up that exit. Yeah, there we go. Blue, orange. And uh, am I through? Is that the regular? I'm pretty sure that's the regular exit, isn't it? I didn't find the secret exit at all. Oh. What is this? No, that's just... That's odd looking. Whoa! A portal for me. Um... I'm slightly suspicious. 
but it's not one of mine. I'm afraid this is going to close on me. In fact, I'm certain it is. Okay, so that emancipation field isn't doing too well. Optional quest, escape outside and find the secret test chamber. Oh, well that's- so it's out here. Oh my god. I- I can't believe I was stressing over that that entire time and it's really just one of these. I've just got to find the portable surface over here. And there it is. Now we just head back to where we were, through the exit door, where I have a blue portal set up, and bam. There we go. Ha ha! Auto-saving. That's right, we got out. Now, optional test chamber. By the way, this is looking great. This entire map looked great, and this is no exception. Man, this looks like something out of Half-Life, though, instead of Portal, which is pretty cool. I like the reuse of assets. Might as well stay up high, because I can always jump down somewhere, but it's a bit harder to jump up from locations. I can't pick anything up, though. So I have to be careful that I don't... Factory. Um, I don't think I have to go to the factory, but I could be wrong. Find the optional test chamber. Maybe it's back there? I mean, this seems to all be leading me in the same direction around, but this seems to be a bit of a dead end? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Completely untelegraphed that that would be the door. But that's fine. I made it to the other side. Damn it. <laughs> I am not a clever man. Please forgive me. Uh, let's see here. Where is the secret test chamber? It's gotta be somewhere around here. I mean, that's what it said. Find your way outside, then find the secret test chamber in that order. Oh! Hello, companion cube door. Back to our orange portal. What is this, by the way? There's a yellow arrow leading our way, but I cannot get in, so... I wonder what the purpose of those doors over there was. I mean, yeah, it allows you to get back and forth a little bit easier, but it's kind of hard to tell that you can open them. Oh. Hey. Hiya. Oh no, I don't want to crush him. Okay, I'm not going to press the crush button. But I've got a... Wow, this is a bit weird. All sorts of strange angles. Yeah, no worries. Now let's see, how am I supposed to get either of those cubes? I mean, first I'd have to activate the laser, but I don't know how to... There's only one button. I have to keep doing it? Oh, that's just mean. Cool, and that activates a laser, good. I didn't want to kill that little guy anyway. So, now I have to get that cube down from over there. Or this cube down from up here, but how in the world am I supposed to do that? Yeah, thank you for noticing, little guy. This is, in fact, trouble. You have any ideas? I don't. There's something above there? No. Something above the cube? No. I'm not able to jump that high. So how? Can I bounce on top of lasers? Nope, nope. Oh, there's a sphere. Can't believe I didn't notice that for this long. Anyway, sphere in the corner. Stand. Hop. Oh, come on. I did this in Portal 1. It was one of the... <laughs> God damn it. It was one of the uh, bonus tests. The companion cube was replaced by a companion sphere. It was much more difficult. Oh, I haven't been crouch jumping. Maybe that would help. Uh, does crouch jumping not work in Portal? Works in every other Source Engine game. Why is this one the exception? Bah, fine. Yeah, you're perfectly fine, little guy. 
Oh, I can just grab it. Okay, that works. Now, I've got to balance the ball over here. And then the cube... Needs to go on the ball? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So how am I supposed to keep this cube in place, then? Ow. Damn laser. There's a button here. Can I press it? Or is it just inaccessible? By the way, is this even pressable? This wall switch? No, it's not pressable at all. It's just fluff. If only I had that second cube. But I can't get up to it. Unless I'm supposed to balance things again? That would just be silly. But knowing this test chamber, everything's been a bit silly thus far, so... Holy crap, this time! Am I seeing that time correctly? Has it really been 20 minutes already? Oh my goodness. Anyway, now we've got... No, he's on fire! Did I do that? Sorry about that, little guy. Now uh, I've got to... God damn it! <laughs> Fired over this way, I assume? Nope, not good. Ah. All that pain. Definitely not comfortable. How do I just get this lousy, stupid laser? You know what? Fine. We'll aim that way. Then a sphere. Oh, there is- I am supposed to aim it this way. There's even a hint. I didn't realize this room had a hint. Okay, good. Now I just aim that laser at that cube, and that should hit the... Oh, very close. Oh, damn it, is that close. That's... I just need to re-aim. Come on. Yeah, there we go. See a little turret? Thanks for- I can't. Yep, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, now how to get out? Is this a- this isn't a portable wall, though it does look a bit like it. What's down the hole? Authorized personnel only? Well, I think I count it by this point. The- uh, that door's probably locked, yeah. I just have to go this way. Now what? Oh, fair enough. I keep expecting doors to open for me in this place, but that seems a bit... optimistic. Made it. Boss. Alright, this door open? Of course not. Anything... oh, push door. Surely this one. Yeah. And that's it. Alright, so optional test t chamber complete and completely optional literally nothing about it that we could have uh, taken with us still these were definitely some interesting tests definitely clever took some thinking and that last one in particular the only thing is they, they um, when you start to expect people to actually mess with the test chamber elements like the... Uh, thumbs up regardless. When you start expecting people to mess with the test chamber elements like the cubes and actually turn them on their sides, things to that effect, you have to kind of take into account the fact that people are going to be looking at any conceivable angle that they can fire from. Which means it's going to take a while, like in your tests, and they're definitely not for the folks that can't think properly, but there's also the danger of overthinking these tests. Trying to do things that are more difficult, like when I was trying to actually balance a cube on the sphere to get the proper angle at the very end there. I didn't need to do that, in the slightest. Balancing cubes on spheres to grab other cubes, though, that was perfectly okay, so... It's a bit of a mixed message when balancing is an important factor for the first half of the test, but it's not a very important factor for the second half. If that makes sense. And I think it does. Um... That said, very well made, very visually unique. I have another map or two, I think, from him in my queue, so I'm looking forward to those. I think one of them's the outside testing map. No money for test chambers, its name. But that will be for another time. 
because that is the end of today's episode, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you tomorrow for more of PA's Perpetual Testing. Bye-bye.